The Hundred Years' War was a series of conflicts waged from 1337 to 1453 by the House of Plantagenet, rulers of the Kingdom of England, against the House of Valois, rulers of the Kingdom of France, over the succession to the French throne. Each side drew many allies into the war. It was one of the most notable conflicts of the Middle Ages, in which five generations of kings from two rival dynasties fought for the throne of the largest kingdom in Western Europe. The war marked both the height of chivalry and its subsequent decline, and the development of strong national identities in both countries. After the Norman conquest of 1066, the kings of England were vassals of the kings of France for their possessions in France. The French kings had endeavoured, over the centuries, to reduce these possessions, to the effect that, roughly, only Gascony was left to the English. The confiscation or threat of confiscating this duchy had been part of French policy, to check the growth of English power, particularly whenever the English were at war with the Kingdom of Scotland, an ally of France. In 1316, a principle was established denying women succession to the French throne. When Charles IV of France the last king of the senior line of the House of Capet died without sons in 1328, his closest male relative was King Edward III of England. Through his mother, Isabella of France, Edward III was the nephew of Charles IV. Isabella claimed the French throne for her son, but the French rejected it, maintaining that Isabella could not transmit a right that she did not possess. A French count, Philip of Valois, first cousin of Charles IV in the male line, succeeded to the throne as King Philip VI of France. For about nine years 1328-1337, the English had accepted the Valois succession to the French throne but the interference of the new French king in Edward III's war against Scotland, prompted Edward III to reassert his claim to the French throne. Several overwhelming English victories in the war especially at Croissy, Poitiers, and Agincourt raised the prospects of an ultimate English triumph. However, the greater resources of the French monarchy precluded a complete conquest. Starting in 1429, Decisive French victories at Orléans, Pâté, Formigny, and Castillon concluded the war in favour of France, with England permanently losing most of its possessions on the continent. Historians commonly divide the war into three phases separated by truces the Edwardian War 1337-1360, the Caroline War 1369-1389 and the Lancastrian War 1415-1453. Local conflicts in neighboring areas, which were contemporarily related to the war, including the War of the Breton Succession 1341-1364, the Castilian Civil War 1366-1369, the War of the Two Peters 1356-1369 in Aragon, and the 1383-1385 succession crisis in Portugal, were availed by the parties to advance their agendas. Later historians adopted the term Hundred Years' War as a historiography periodization, to encompass all of these events, thus constructing the longest military conflict in European history. The war owes its historical significance to multiple factors. By its end, Feudal armies had been largely replaced by professional troops, and aristocratic dominance had yielded to a democratization of the manpower and weapons of armies. Although primarily a dynastic conflict, the war gave impetus to ideas of French and English nationalism. The wider introduction of weapons and tactics supplanted the feudal armies, where heavy cavalry had dominated, and artillery became important. The war precipitated the creation of the first standing armies in Western Europe, since the time of the Western Roman Empire, and thus helping to change their role in warfare. With respect to the belligerents, in France, civil wars, deadly epidemics, famines, and banded free companies of mercenaries reduced the population drastically. English political forces over time, came to oppose the costly venture. 
the dissatisfaction of English nobles, resulting from the loss of their continental land holdings, became a factor leading to the civil wars known as the Wars of the Roses 1455-1487.